Welcome again. I am going to be um, doing fruits and veggies today. Now, today is not my idea. This um, project is actually, I got some new books, um, Get Up in Gouache. So it's by Jessica Smith. Um, she kind of goes through gouache techniques and the first um, one is fruits and veggies. So I've taken her sketch. I've kind of um, moved it around a little bit and altered it a bit. Um, one thing I always tell my kids in the art room is don't ever mix all of your white into the color you're mixing because you'll probably need it to mix with more than one color. So always pull um, on your palette from, you know, from that color into the middle of them. So if it's like a green and a white, you want to put it, the light green in the middle, not Okay, so I have um, all my colors ready. Again, it's in my book about what we're doing. So the big ones I'm gonna block in, I think this is a four. Um, so I'm gonna do the tomato up here. I guess they have one, she has one tomato that's red and one that is more like an orange red. I'm going to add a darker lemon to the These and her painting are green. I'm going to make the oh, blueberries. Which I didn't think.
always also like to explain to my um, students that like go and paint your lines in the way that your fruit would go. So I feel like the lemon is longer so the lines would be top to bottom, not side to side. Like I always tell round things you want to paint round. Like obviously the tomato was trying to paint more round, avocado in the rounds. Know what this is oh this is beetroot not an onion I thought it was a purple onion okay back to this purple go ahead before I forget I guess it's just a piece of lettuce. I mean, I've seen different lettuces like that. So again, let's see. I don't want it that dark, more like that, so. of the strawberry we're just gonna do the red okay so kind of want a mixture of both locked in um, what they call it um, all the large shapes um, I'm gonna let this dry before I go back and add the stems for those little ones and then the details okay so I gave it a quick blow dry I did add the light to the lemon I forgot about that um, so we're gonna add I am gonna use some colored pencils where she used paint so that's gonna change it up a little bit but I need to get a darker green for these two tops and I believe the tomato top is pretty dark. I'm gonna switch to a all my paintbrushes are falling out. Maybe this is a three. Um,
Okay, so again, I'm using my colored pencils to add those details. Um, so like, I need a darker green. I hope you enjoyed getting to art with me um, just kind of explaining why why these books are great okay so um, this project like I said would not be anything I would sell so this is just a great way for me to practice using my brushes using my gouache going slow getting into those little areas um, figuring out do I like the paint on top of the gouache do I like the uh, either a pen or my colored pencils to add the detail which I did today and some of then that's when you take that idea and like I've done I moved it into creating my own piece like um, I stuck with root vegetables so I'm gonna take this one um, which I am taking my idea and then translating it into my own piece of art that I could sell so we never want to take anything from the book um, that they've already created that is their art and we want to create something our own so it enjoyed with me I hope you created something what I created regardless if it was with gouache maybe colored pencils maybe a pencil and pen um, we all have our favorite art supplies so I hope you come back and come art with me